Good morning, beautiful souls. I have missed you so much. Um, gosh, September was really a difficult month for me. At the beginning, I knew I was going through some sort of transition phase, and I didn't quite understand it, but I was going with the flow. And then um, in the middle of the month for about two weeks, um, I was dealing with my stomach issues and it took me quite a while to recover and regain my strength. But I am all caught up now on past readings. I am starting on a fresh blank slate and I'm so excited today is October 1st. All right, so I am back. And this month we are going to be using the Halloween Oracle um, cards by Stacy DeMarco. And this is such a beautiful deck. Oh wow, look, <laughs> the, the image on the cover is the card that I pulled for today. We have the skull of flowers creating through the ashes. To blossom and bloom, the work must be done. Through fire and ashes, our fortune it comes. Before flowers are born, they are sweet buds on a plant that come from a smaller form like a seed or a bulb. The seeds need prepared nourishing soil to grow to its potential. Wow, I can't even read it. <laughs> Some plants and trees only seed after fire or a period of extreme adversity like drought or flood. Sometimes we wish for a life different from the one we have, and that can mean radical change. Sometimes to have that new life, everything falls apart to make it so, and that can be uncomfortable. We may lose our relationships or they may change. We may lose a job, have to move house, or become ill. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so I've been noticing that a lot of my last messages for you guys, um, for the collective, also uh, were for me as well. So I feel, I'm feeling like it's really interesting because I'm not asking to pull cards for myself. I ask for cards for the collective and um, they still pertain to me as well. So that's interesting. All big events that lead to a reassessment of the how in our lives. The skull of flowers illustrates that there is a sureness and yet a rawness to creating again, to starting afresh. Sometimes the universe gives us a blank slate to work from so we can build what we really want rather than just settling for less. The skull of flowers celebrates not just a kind of phoenix energy, but an energy of success and full bloom through adversity. I love this so much. So guys, if you feel like things are falling apart in your life, you know, like I said, if you lost a job, you're, you're um, moving from a long time residence or just, you know, moving your house in general. If there's things in your life right now have, happening that are uncomfortable because the future is unknown, that's exactly what my entire month of September was. Remember, we cannot have the light without the darkness. And I know when we're in that moment that it feels like it's going to last forever. But that's when more than ever we have to hold on to our faith and just know that like the tower, everything built on a faulty foundation or just that no longer serves our highest good has to crumble so it can be rebuilt on a stronger foundation, on a different foundation. So I'm seeing that not just myself, but a lot of you are also going through a major transition. And I'm hoping along with myself that you're at the point where you get to start on this fresh slate and the excitement comes back, the creative energy comes back. And if it hasn't yet, guys, it is coming. Hang in there, okay? And then we also have everything that we do and everyone that we meet is put in our path for a purpose. A quote by Marla Gibbs. And I've raised my children um, reminding them that everything happens for a reason. We may not always understand it, but we're not always meant to. As long as we hold true to that, to knowing that it all happens for a reason. That person in your life that aggravates the ever-loving shit out of you that you just can't seem to get away from. They're there for a reason. They're there to teach you a lesson. That job that you just can't stand but you can't seem to leave it. 
it's repeating itself in your life for a reason, okay? So we, we just have to remember that everything put in our path is there for a purpose. And I just wanted to say, I am so sad that I did not get to use the Sacred Rebels Oracle more than I did. Maybe I'll pull it back out next month. I'm not sure. But I am only offering this in this morning message. If you want a card pull from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck, either comment on this post or send me a message and I will send you your general card pull. I highly recommend getting it while you get a chance. Um, unlike uh, the free 60 second messages I was offering last week, this is only going to be offered here in this video. So it's only if you are watching this morning message and I am not going to um, show it anywhere else. So take advantage of this opportunity. Also, guys, I'm super excited. Um, I almost said twin tuition. So here on my Facebook page, Suddenly Psychic, uh, we have now, I've hit 500 followers. Guys, this is huge. So I am going to be doing um, a giveaway here in the near future. So I'm super excited. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or suggestions on what you would like to see in this giveaway. I'm probably going to do it um, <laughs> by... If you tag someone on the post or something, for every person you tag, you'll get an entry. Um, I will give you numbers for your entries, and then probably just up to five per person. And then I'm gonna use the number generator app um, online and let it generate a number, and that will be the winner. So I'm super excited to do this giveaway. I was thinking about maybe a spell jar kit or just like um, some Palo Santo and some crystals. I just really want to show my appreciation for um, all of you being here. So yes, I'm super excited. October 1st. Um, I know it's not the beginning of like the new moon cycle, but for me, it still feels like the beginning of a cycle. Let's see, when do we have the new moon is going to be on the 6th coming right up and we also have mercury in retrograde i believe we have six planets in retrograde right now so it's kind of crazy i hope to talk about that more tomorrow or in a separate video i hope you all have a super awesome friday love light and blessings and i will be back tomorrow bye guys